We'll come to an example on how to approximate area under a curve using midpoint approximations. So here we're asked to approximate the area under the curve graphed below from x equals 1 to x equals 6 using a midpoint approximation with five subdivisions. So because we're using rectangles to approximate the area, we can say the area is going to be approximately equal to the sum of f of c sub i times delta x, where f of c sub i is going to be the height of each rectangle, and delta x will be the width of each rectangle. Let's begin by determining delta x, where delta x is always equal to b minus a divided by n, where in our case, because we're considering the graph from x equals 1 to x equals 6, a equals 1 and b equals 6, and because we're using five subdivisions, n, the number of rectangles is going to be 5. So we can say that delta x is equal to b minus a divided by n is going to be 6 minus 1 divided by 5, which equals 1. Let's go ahead and form the subintervals on our graph. Again, we're starting at x equals 1, ending at x equals 6, and now we'll form five subintervals, each with a width of 1. So we have a subinterval here, 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 and here. And now let's sketch the rectangles we'll use to approximate the area under the curve. And because we're asked to use a midpoint approximation, we'll use the function value at the midpoint of each subinterval as the height of each rectangle. So notice the first subinterval from 1 to 2, the height of the rectangle is going to be f of 1.5, because 1.5 would be the midpoint between 1 and 2. So the height of the rectangle would be here, and this would be the rectangle for the first subinterval. The midpoint between 2 and 3 would be 2.5, so the function value at 2.5 is going to give us the height of the second rectangle, which would be here. So this would be the height of the second rectangle. Next, the function value at x equals 3.5 would give us the height of the third rectangle, which would be here. So here's our third rectangle. For the fourth rectangle, the height is going to be f of 4.5, which would be here. And finally, for the last subinterval, because 5.5 would be the midpoint between 5 and 6, f of 5.5, or here, would be the height of this last rectangle. So we can say that the area is approximately Let's first write the area using function notation, and then because we're not given the function that gives us this blue graph, we'll have to use the graph to approximate the function values. So the area of this first rectangle is going to be the height times the width, which would be f of 1.5 times 1. For the second rectangle, the area would be f of 2.5 times 1. Plus for the third rectangle, we'd have f of 3.5 times 1 for the area. For the fourth rectangle, we'd have an area of f of 4.5 times 1. And then finally for the last rectangle, we'd have an area of f of 5.5 times 1. And now we'll approximate these function values using the graph. So for f of 1.5, let's say the function value is approximately 1.8. So the area is going to be 1.8 times 1. Plus for f of 2.5, let's approximate that function value as, let's say, 2.3. Remember, function values are y values. Now we could leave off the times 1, but delta x is not always 1, so I'll leave it here for consistency. The next area is going to be f of 3.5 times 1 f of 3.5 is approximately 2.8, so we have 2.8 times 1, plus for the fourth rectangle, we'd have f of 4.5 times 1, f of 4.5 is approximately 3.2, so we'd have 3.2 times 1, and then finally, for the area of the last rectangle, we'd have f of 5.5, which we'll say is 3.5 times 1. Let's go ahead and find the sum of these products. We have 1.8 plus 2.3 plus 2.8 plus 3.2 and finally plus 3.5. Enter. 
So our approximation of the area under the curve using the midpoint approximation would be approximately 13.6 square units. Let's go ahead and shade the area of the five rectangles. Looking at the graph, notice how it looks like this midpoint approximation is a very good approximation for the area under the curve. Notice how the rectangles are missing a little bit of area on the right side of each subinterval, but they also include extra area on the left side of each subinterval. I hope you found this helpful.